In this video tutorial, we will learn how to use Python's dictionaries to connect pieces of related information. A dictionary is a collection of key-value pairs. Each key is associated with a value, and you can use that key to get the value associated with that key. Consider it similar to your standard dictionary. You search for a term and the dictionary returns a sentence that defines that word. Python uses a key, which can be a word or a number, to obtain a value from the dictionary. That value can be anything, a need, a float, a string, or even a list of values. A dictionary is similar to a list. We store values in lists and access them using their index. We don't use an index in dictionaries, instead we use a key, like this. So, each key gives us access to a value in the dictionary. As a result, dictionaries are quite useful. Now, let's create our first dictionary. To create a dictionary, we give it a name. Let's create a dictionary called age to hold the age of a person as the value and the name of each person as the key. Age is equal to curly brackets. With this command, I created an empty dictionary. Let's add some key value pairs to it. Nick, in quotes, that's the key, colon, 18, that's the value, the person's age. We added one item to the dictionary. Let's add two more items. Just like lists, each item must be separated by a comma. Comma, quotes Mary, colon, 20. Comma, quotes George, colon, 21. Let's print the dictionary. Print age. As you can see, the print command prints the keys and the values of the dictionary. That's what the dictionary looks like in the memory. We have three keys, Nick, Mary, and George, and three values that we can access via the keys. How can we do that? We type the dictionary name, age brackets, and inside the brackets, the key, Nick. Now let's print Nick's age. Print age brackets Nick. At the console, we can see the age, 18. Cool. In the same way, we can access any item from the dictionary. For example, let's see Mary's age. Print age brackets Mary. We can add another item in the dictionary if we wish, like this. Age brackets Dora, a key that doesn't exist, is equal to 3. For example, print age. As you can see, a new person has been added to the dictionary. Now, let's modify the value of an element. Let's say I want to change Nick's age. Easy. Age brackets Nick is equal to 20. The computer understands that a key Nick already exists in the dictionary, so it won't add another item to the dictionary, but rather it will modify the existing one. What if we want to delete an item from the dictionary? We use the delete function just as we did with lists. Del, parenthesis, age, brackets, Nick. Print, age. As you can see, Nick is gone from the dictionary. As we said before, the key of a dictionary can be some text or even a number. So let's create a dictionary that uses a number as the key and the square of the key as the value. Here it is. We can add as many items as we want in a dictionary, but I added just five items in this example, a number as a key and the square of that number as the value. Now, what is three squared? Easy. We have to access the value of the dictionary with key three. Print square brackets three. What if I want to print the square of six using this dictionary? Print square brackets 6. I get an error because there is no key 6 in the dictionary named square. Let's add the key 6. Square brackets 6 is equal to 36. That's the square of 6. Now I can print the square of 6. Print square brackets 6. I think you now understand how to create a dictionary and how to access its values. Let's now practice what we have learned today with an exercise. Write code to create a dictionary named weekday that uses integers from 1 to 7 as keys and the name of each weekday as the value. The first day of the week is going to be Monday. 
For example, after the dictionary is created, the code print weekday brackets 2 will output Tuesday to the console. Please pause the video now and try to do this exercise on your own. Ok, let's create this dictionary. Weekday is equal to curly brackets. The first day of the week is Monday, so the key is going to be 1 and the value Monday. 1, colon, quotes, Monday, comma. Since this dictionary is going to contain a lot of items, we can type them to separate lines to make our code more readable. So we can add the second item below. The second day of the week is going to be Tuesday and it will have the key 2. 2 colon quotes Tuesday, comma, and so on. Now that we have entered all the days of the week in the dictionary, we can print any weekday like this. Print weekday brackets 2, Tuesday. Print weekday bracket 7, Sunday. Very cool. Now that you know how to use a dictionary, you have another very useful tool. Please try out what we have learned so far because in the next video we will use everything we have learned to build another game as a small project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.